Uh, but uh, speaking of authenticity, Jack Smith working hard on election interference, Mark, the Supreme Court told him that his indictment was no good for the January, uh, supposed January 6th crimes against Trump. So he found another grand jury. Yeah, you could just go jury shopping. If you don't like this handbag, just go find another one. There's always another department <laughs> store. And indicted him again uh, just 68 days before the election. So they reworked the indictment by now adding language that Trump was acting as a candidate not as president on January 6th, and that what he was saying and doing was not part of his assigned presidential duties. So now they can try and basically skirt the Supreme Court immunity ruling. Mark, what level of insanity are we at these days? Wow. Well, it's, uh, this is Jack Smith. Jack Smith you know, can't take the L, right? He lost <laughs> when the immunity decision came out from the Supreme Court. He lost when Judge uh, Aileen Cannon threw out his case uh, his ridiculous case on the documents hoax. Um, and so this is basically uh, the primal scream of a dying regime in the words of the great uh, Steve Bannon. This is Jack Smith's primal scream, his last effort. And he's uh, ever so carefully threading the needle to be able to say Donald Trump was acting in his own personal capacity, not as president. When he spoke at the Ellipse, for instance, that was a private event. Uh, he was not speaking as the president of the United States. And so they took out all the elements of the indictment that dealt with the Department of Justice because that would be an official act. So they have uh, maneuvered and twisted and turned to come up with a new indictment. But it's in violation of the Department of Justice's own rule book that says you cannot bring an action against a candidate this close to an election. And so uh, it, it's it's on its on its face. It's absurd. It's election interference, and this is the last gasp from them the, of the the primal breath of a dying regime.